Welcome back to Bonnie Garage Barbecue. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're doing up some Memphis dry rubbed wings. That's right, wings. I'm gonna show you how to make an awesome Memphis style rub to go on top of those wings before you fire on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. I'm also gonna show you how to make my white gold wing sauce that you can dip into that's gonna make your taste buds pop. Real simple, real tasty. You ready to do this? Let's go! All right, let's toss together Miss Dixie's Memphis style rub. I got two tablespoons of brown sugar. This is a light. I also use dark with it. Dark is a little bit better, but I'm out of it right now. Two tablespoons of paprika, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of black pepper. I got about a tablespoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of ground mustard, an eighth of a teaspoon of celery seed, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, and a half a teaspoon of sugar in the raw. I'm gonna get this all mixed together and toss in the shaker. All right, we got our wings ready to go, washed up, cleaned up, dried up. We're gonna hit them up with some of our Miss Dixie Bevan style dry rub. I'm not using any binder here. You can use binder if you want. You hit it with a duck spray, a little bit of Sang's stir fry oil. Just gonna get these covered up a little bit here. Give them a little mix. Hit them up again. Mix them up just a little bit. I'm gonna let these chill out in the fridge for a little while. I'll meet you out at the grill. All right, we got the Weber Summit Choco Grill running at about 375. We get the Portex running. We got a chunk of uh, cherry wood on there, give us a little bit of smoke. Let's grab our wings, start getting them on. See, we got some nice color rolling out of that rub there. Start loading these up. We're gonna start off low on this cook. We'll crank it up a little bit as time goes on. Just gonna fire these all around here. I'll get the rest of these loaded up and I'll bring you back. All right, let's toss together my white gold sauce. I got two cups of mayonnaise. I'm gonna come back with probably about half a cup or so of apple cider vinegar. Put that in there. Hit it up with some Worcestershire sauce. A little whack there maybe Half a tablespoon or so. I got one tablespoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon of kosher salt, about a half of a teaspoon to three quarters of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and two cloves of garlic that I ran through the press. Let me get these in. I'm gonna head it up with a little bit of Dijon mustard. Maybe two teaspoons. Come back with a little bit of Bob's Bee Buff honey. Maybe a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. It's looking good right there. Give a little whack of a hot sauce, your choice. I'm using jalapeno from Pit Patriots. A couple little wax there. Now we'll give this a mix. There you go there. Give it a little taste. I'm coming back with just a little bit more honey in there. Nice little tang to it. And another hit of jalapeno hot sauce. I'm gonna mix that up, let it chill. You can also make this into an Alabama white sauce. You wanna add some lemon juice into it and also some horseradish. It's a real simple one, really tasty. Let that chill out in the fridge for a while. 
All right, we've been rolling for about 15 minutes or so. Starting to get a little sizzle from this chicken grease. Starting to pick up some nice color here. Just gonna give these a little flip. I'll get all these flipped over. We'll let them continue cooking probably for about another 10 minutes. I'll bring it back. We'll crank this heat up and get these things really rocking and rolling. Another 10 minutes has gone by. We're starting to get a little sweaty hair looking pretty damn good, right? I'm gonna give these one more quick flip. I'm gonna bang this temperature up. I'm gonna open up that top vent. Crack that bottom one open. See if we can finish this up and get this skin nice and tight. Just wanted to show you guys what I picked up here. Picked up a four gallon Cajun fryer by RV Works. Picked it up for a hundred bucks. Needs to be cleaned up. Inside looks pretty damn good. I got the baskets already cleaned out. We doing up some cooks on this. I seen Aaron from Barbecue by Biggs. He's got one of these. I'm like, man, I need one. I'll leave a link to Aaron's channel down below. Check him out, he's got some great videos on this. All right, we're back. We had that work. The Weber running up in the 400s. His wings are looking pretty damn good. We got some nice color rolling here. As you can see there. I'm gonna get these pulled. We'll bring, we'll bring it back when we plate them up. All right, we're back and we are plated up. Let's get you in for another quick close-up here. Man, look at those wings. That sauce right there. You see, I like to put it inside of a mason jar. Let it chill out in the fridge for a while. Let's give these a shot. Perfectly cooked. And that rub right there. Rocks. Flavors on that pop. What I like to do is when they're done cooking, I hit them again with a nice dusting. So you're gonna get that dry rub right on top too. Plus what's already cooked in there. Okay, I'm picking up a little bit of smoke from that cherry too. Let's get a little bit of uh, with our white gold sauce here. That sauce right there pairs perfectly. What I normally would do, but we're not eating them right now, is throw them into a bowl, drizzle some of that sauce over it, and then eat them. Slamming. Either way, straight up dry rubbed, Memphis style, or Memphis style, with a little bit of that white gold wing sauce. You can't go wrong either way. You gotta give it a shot. Real easy one, real tasty one. Thanks for watching, stay safe.